Brian Singleton, I, uh, my colleague Neil, um, we are um, promoters for the Dirty Reaver. Um, we have three exciting new routes for 2023. Um, we review the route every three years. This year, um, our route goes in a completely different direction, so people on the 65 and the 130 will get to see completely different uh, parts of the forest. Um, Keel the Bin, as big as it is, there are hundreds of kilometres of route. Uh, and we just figure it's nice for people to go and explore different areas, see different views. Um, so the new start is going to be on a closed road for the first couple of kilometres um, before we then go out um, more in a southerly direction straight onto the lake over the old Kiel the Viaduct. Oh, cool. And then it finishes in the castle again? Yeah, um, so our start finish will be back in the castle with our traditional uh, sprint up the hill at the end if you've got that yeah. left in your legs. Cool. What are we doing in Kiel the Forest, Dan? So we are at uh, the location of the Dirty River, the UK's biggest gravel event. And we are out on course looking at the new route and also getting to groups with a few water products. And getting pretty chilly in the, in the process. You are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got over shoes. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it is a chilly day too. Yeah. But um, it's not bad for the member of this one. Or Beautiful route we've seen so far, challenging still. Definitely an exciting one for a great point here. far have we gone down? We have gone about 11 miles. In how long? Two hours, seven minutes. I think you'd get a bit of a view to be honest. Probably. <laughs> so why are well tide involved with the Dirty River? Well, a couple of reasons. I guess it's the, the biggest British uh, gravel event and as a British brand, you know, it's always great to support events. Yeah. Um, especially as it was pretty much the first UK <laughs> gravel grind, you know. It's a really good event. Um, the nature of the event as well, obviously it's a, a race 
that's a ride yeah where you know you're gonna get very very dirty mm -hmm. it's in the name really isn't it so um our products we have it aligns itself very well yeah and um, bike preps also maybe we're gonna get around its corner first so bike preps also a big factor yeah the tech that goes into gravel bikes these days and you want to make sure it's set up spick and span so we've got a whole range yeah. of products that We've really yeah, not picked a good spot to have an interview here. <laughs> or a tight hairpin. <laughs> All right, continue. <laughs> um, so those two are the main reasons, but also the gravel scenes for yeah. growing. Um, so it's always good to be aligned in an event. But it's part of a growing part of the market, the bike market. Yeah. I think with gravel bikes as well, you've got a bike that's a do-it-all bike. Mm -hmm. so you're also you're appealing to mountain bikers, yeah. for road cyclists. It works as a commute bike. Yeah. You know, you can just well, you can have that. Mm -hmm. All that kind of stuff. And then when you look at the scene around here. You always carry an iPad on a ride. Boy, you've been waiting all ride for, haven't you? <laughs>